in this saying, know yourself and you shall know the secrets of the universe, what, uh, from your perspective, what does that mean? Well, I was fortunate because I had a father, an artist father, who would always say three things. Know yourself, be true to yourself, and never laugh at another person's dreams. And the know yourself is great advice, but oftentimes uh, everyone thinks, well, what is myself? Who am I? And that's a great where, uh, place to begin, curiosity. Well, who am I then? And my life, uh, and I've reached a point in my life where I can look and whether it's with my art or with acting, with uh, family, with community, that an examined life is essentially a constantly transforming question, just like seasons. It's not an arrival point, but a capacity to navigate where certain questions need to be asked. And when I was working on the very popular television show Dallas in the early 1980s, there was outward fame. People knew me, they knew what my work was and all of these different things. But I felt as though the outward sense of recognition was, was marvelous, but it went only so far. I still didn't feel that I was connecting to the things that I needed to know about whoever this self might be at the end of the day. And the gift I was given was that the outer world always demands certain things from us. It says, as much as you'd like to paint all day, you're going to have to pay your bills. As much as you'd like to just dream about things, you're going to have to figure out, well, how to get the kids to school, how to, how to make sure you're able to do what needs to be done before you do what you'd like to do. And life is very full of these questions. And as an actor, I realized, I'm very delighted that somehow, on some deep level, I realized I did not want to be an angry, bitter actor. I didn't want to make my life about lost opportunities and who did what to whom, and if only I had done that, this might have happened. I wanted to take the opportunity I was given, which was substantial. It was a gift. It allowed me to live here. It allowed me to buy paints. And I started to know that the questions that compelled me, which were much more, in a way, in line with the actor's questions, not the, not the scientist trying to prove something or the religionist trying to believe something, but the actor asking, well, how do I embody these things? How do I actually know from the inside rather than the outside the qualities that I'm seeking to know? And so I began uh, discussion groups in my home that have lasted for 40 years. And it was and has been a gathering of creative, imaginative, thoughtful people from all different points of view and life that have met over the years because, like me, they realize that the world asks certain questions. How are you going to pay your bills? What, what car do you drive? Who are your friends? All of these questions that really aren't very relevant, but we allow them to be relevant because we don't realize oftentimes that we have to, like gardeners, create a space for these things to happen. They're not going to happen for us. When we're children, it kind of magically happens oftentimes. But magical thinking as an adult doesn't pan out. And this is the key to the feminine in all of this, because it's about responsible relationship. Not simply the desiring something, but the actually the attending to something. And so the key I have found, and the keys I found, was that many of the questions that we want to know intimately, like, who am I? We can't ask while we're leaning over talking to the neighbor or shaking our fists at the stupidity of those people. or Why are they that way? And why is this that way? Because we're angry. We're taken away. So the question was, how do you create a double life? One that says, yes, I understand the difficulties of navigating the outer world and the responsibilities. But I choose to have a relationship, as I do with my wife or my husband, my children, that isn't about proving anything to anyone, but actually about how do I respond with love to situations that I am oftentimes not expecting. What do I do? That's what people are always challenged with. What do I do? And I really feel that the creative, the imaginative, the examined life has to do with where do you feel safe 
Can you create a place that isn't using what you discover as a proof of anything? Where it's not showing up and saying, I have the answers, but actually being much more in line with a gardener of the soul that begins to understand as we do at home. Certain questions, questions of intimacy, have much more to do with the spirit, much more to do with the creative soul of things. Not when we're shouting at the world or the television or at the reflection of things we like or don't like, but actually when we're in that intimacy that begins to see that if things are to change, it is not to change the world, but to grow a world that I can finally live with. And if I can say anything about my art and the strangeness of my journey, it's allowed me to bring the myths home. It's allowed me to say, at least for me, how do I live with these ideas? Not just have them in my head, but how do I let them out? And where can I let them out? Because people aren't that necessarily interested in these things, and maybe they're a little shocked. Maybe they don't want to know these things, but I do. It's like the library. I want to read that book. You don't have to. I want to read it. I want to know what these things are. And I kind of think that that's when we bring it home. I don't ask you to like it, not like it. I don't ask you to care. I care. I like it. And that's enough for me. And I would love it if the creative being out there looking at this says, yeah, you know what? I'm going to figure out where I feel safe. I'm not going to use my work to convince anybody. I'm going to make that my friend and mentor because it's going to create confusion and chaos and difficulty like any process does. It's not easy. But if we don't look at it as being something that is against us, but something that is continually challenging us. At the end of the day, we might just end up bringing forth a beauty we could hardly imagine because we were willing to show up day after day saying, I'm curious, what may I learn from you? And how may I learn to live with these things so that I share them in love with the people I care about rather than use them as fuel and anger? for those that I don't care about, but I'm angry with. Do you see, we have to resolve the human heart. Know thyself and thou shalt know the secrets of the universe. You are, I am, we are holographic. We are whole and holy. My art, my life, my revelation have taught me this. And as I say, if you don't agree, that's fine because the revelation here is enough for me. And maybe that's when we take things home and say, it's between you and me, kid. The rest can wait. First this. And that's where we are now. First this. Know yourself. You are a secret beyond imagining.